What is the name of it? Oh, the recent one. Mm. I got another one very good. Women in business and the transport and logistics. Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. This is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. As I told you earlier, my name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses Social Media. And it's time for the moment of truth now, because I have an award-winning business leader in studio with me. But before that, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Or you can hit me up directly at It's Barry Moses. So the Women in Business Award winner, the CEO and founder of Modest Collections, Lois Kamanu, is here for the second time, Caribbean. Thank you so much for having me. All right. It's such an honor. Uh -huh. You're getting used to this, right? <laughs> uh, it feels like home now. <laughs> it's home, uh -huh. but it never gets easy. All right. Yeah. We rarely get people uh, in studio for the second time or yeah. the third time, but this means you're, you've been putting in work and there's something special about this particular day. Uh, introduce yourself call on a corner for the first time. Okay, my name is Lois Kamanu, mm -hmm. CEO and Director of Modest Collections. Mm -hmm. Modest Collections, we offer delivery services mm -hmm. for online sellers. Mm -hmm. In simpler terms, we have Boda Bodas that offer delivery services from stores to the clients. From stores to the clients. So yes. you're the, you the middle person right there. Yes. The last time we left off at uh, Modest Collection, uh, having how many riders again? Uh, can I remember the last time we were around five or seven mm -hmm. and right now we are scaling a little bit higher uh -huh. and we're actually looking for more additions coming January mm -hmm. that's a job opportunity for people to look All right. out for so people might get jobs from watching why in the morning today yes so look out for those job opportunities as well modest yeah. collection is going to be hiring in January uh, so uh, there's been growth for sure yeah, there has been growth from mm -hmm. the last time. Mm -hmm. The last time I was here, we were actually campaigning about the business Kenya SME Award, mm -hmm. which we actually won mm -hmm. right after that. Uh -huh. uh, ever since then till now, mm -hmm. we recently won the Top Women in Business mm -hmm. under Transport and Logistics. Mm -hmm. That has really given us a lot of market. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. So these expect. awards really, really work? Yeah, they work. All right. They work. Uh, so people pay attention more. You get more credibility exactly. after winning awards for sure. Exactly. All right, uh, so uh, looking at where you're sitting right now, mm -hmm. recently uh, you, you've won two awards already, uh, you, the business is growing, uh, it doesn't come without challenges obviously. <laughs> the higher you go, <laughs> the, the, the harder it becomes. The harder and I like, becomes. I'd like them to learn this because people mm -hmm. think it's easy to get to the top, it's an easy journey to the top. It's so easy. Uh -huh. Anyone who told you it's easy, uh -huh. or anyone who lied to someone that it's easy, uh -huh. It's really, really hard. All right, what are some of the challenges that have come with scaling up for, uh, for starters? Uh, scaling up, mm -hmm. especially when you get recognized, mm -hmm. the government expects expects more from you. Mm -hmm. Taxes. Obvious. The tax man <laughs> comes knocking. Yeah, and that is number one. And the licenses uh -huh. are there. Uh -huh. uh, apart from that, you have to grow yourself, mm -hmm. especially getting into forums where you understand how to lead. Mm -hmm. I can't compare myself when I was here the last time and now. Mm -hmm. You have to gear up mm -hmm. because the higher you go, more employees, you mm -hmm. have to learn how to deal with them. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot, can I say, to man up, mm -hmm. or rather woman up. Mm -hmm. Woman up. <laughs> let, 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 let's <laughs> I'm not going to say anything on this on your topic before I get crucified. Let's I get crucified. But you need to step up. Let's say step up. Yeah, uh, when you're when you're when you're scaling up, yeah. for sure. All right. Uh, so the tax man is 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 one aspect for. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, number two is more employees, yeah. and number three is obviously the authorities. What about your personal life? Uh, personal life gets tricky because people expect more from you. Mm -hmm. You can go higher and say remain at the same place. Mm -hmm. You expect to behave in a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. You expect to show up even in more places, which mm -hmm. is not easy. Mm -hmm. People are listening to what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. So the stakes are high. People are looking up to you. Yeah, the right. stakes are high. The stakes are high. Yeah. And uh, you have to sacrifice your regular life. A lot. A lot. Right. Yeah. Have you made sacrifices? 
especially working hours uh -huh. have to be more. Uh -huh. um, especially like today, where uh -huh. we have an interview, uh -huh. you have to wake up really early uh -huh. and make sure you've planned your day uh -huh. to compensate to compensate for the time that you're going to be outside the office. Mm -hmm. There's so much, so much that goes into it. All right, mm -hmm. there's a. There's like a small rebranding that has gone on at <laughs> Modest Collection yeah. uh, since we last checked in there. Uh, you have a new slogan. Yes. All right, which is very catchy and amazing. Would you like to share it with, uh, with the viewers right there? Yeah, I'd actually like to share with it. Mm -hmm. uh, we call, the last time we were here, it's mm -hmm. Modest Collections. Mm -hmm. People actually think that we sell clothes or mm -hmm. we are a fashion line. Because of the collections. Yeah, but, because uh -huh. of the collections. Uh -huh. But I didn't change the name because I need people to understand it's a journey. Uh -huh. Of where we began mm -hmm. so we used to say that modest collections we mm -hmm. collect and we deliver uh -huh. but now we added a hashtag uh -huh. delivery me take it take it delivery me take it take it yes. right you've incorporated uh, the street language in there mm -hmm. take it take it is a is a is a is a sheng terminology for for araka raka yeah. uh wh why do you why would you choose such a language for for a company that is winning awards like this uh at the end of the day they call who are Mm -hmm. So who are you serving? Uh -huh. So you need to speak to them. You need to talk to them. Because uh -huh. without them, the modest collection is nothing. All right. So uh, you do you think like, that Sheng is going to be taken over soon? It's going yes. to be let into boardrooms and, and the rest of the places. Yeah, especially that you've had even our leaders adding these things, Ria and Rada, to their uh -huh. speeches. Uh -huh. Because they know that they need to get to these young people. Mm -hmm. Then you need to style up. You can't remain the same. You remain formal. Mm -hmm. Very few young people who listen to you. Mm -hmm. And actually, when we're here, who are we influencing? Mm -hmm. We're actually talking to the young people. Mm -hmm. So you need them to listen to you. Right. So why not talk the language? These things, do they happen by chance or you plan after six months we need a new slogan, after seven months we need uh, uh, this and no. that? They happen by chance? No, they happen by chance. Uh -huh. You meet them you along the way. You said you like, but then uh -huh. we can add something. Uh -huh. You start uh, juggling different terms. Uh -huh. Obviously, you have people that you consult, mm -hmm. which I find very key uh -huh. in business, especially. Consultation. Yeah, mm -hmm. you always have to consult. Mm -hmm. And like, today, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. How about delivery? Chop, chop, mm -hmm. delivery. You know, you start brainstorming. Uh -huh. People will tell you this already exists. Exactly. This is already there. This is a little bit too aggressive. Yeah. And then you come up with something. Oh, I forgot to mention, my team is young, uh -huh. so they obviously contribute to that. Is this something that you always look? Uh, look into to, uh, to hire young people yeah especially right now mm -hmm. I'm not being selfish mm -hmm. but or right now just. yeah it just <laughs> <laughs> there's something like that um, right now I'm especially adding more and more young people to the team mm -hmm. because they it's need not the discrimination no it's not ageism as you say mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I need the young people to realize they have more potential than they think and they're not being given the opportunities anyway so young people can give young people opportunities exactly Wonderful, yeah. right there. All right, uh, branding is very important to you. Very important. I've noticed, I've yeah. figured. You have uh, pieces of bookmarks yeah. that you give to your customers as, as incentives. Yeah. You have t-shirts as well. Yeah. And uh, you recently came up with a very good catch phrase right there. <laughs> All right, uh, do you do this yourself? Uh, the branding? Mm -hmm. Yes, I supervise everything. Mm -hmm. And everything is intentional in what we give. Mm -hmm. The t-shirts definitely for people wearing, mm -hmm. but for the bookmarks, I believe in the power of reading because mm -hmm. what is here mm -hmm. will take you really far. Where you, uh, which book are you reading right now? Right now I'm reading on, um, it's a new one. Mm -hmm. It's called On the Black Sister Streets. On the Black Sister Street. Yes. All right, uh, is it a fictional book or? Yeah, it's a fictional book uh -huh. from the Nigerian roots, uh -huh. which I actually lay around the Nigerian roots. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually happy to see that there are so many Kenyan writers coming up, mm -hmm. such as the Dragon Sea Fly. Mm -hmm. We have so many, I can't mention them all right now. Mm -hmm. But having knowledge, mm -hmm. knowledge is power. All right. One would assume that reading a fictional book has, has nothing to do with impacting uh, knowledge that is going to help you <laughs> in, a in a business. But yeah. uh, what would you say about that? Um, I find it as a point where I reflect. Uh -huh. A point where I get to understand people have different kind of um, 
points of perspectives. Mm -hmm. So the moment I... It's all about perspective. Yeah, perspective. Because mm -hmm. the moment, personally, I don't think I can write a book, mm -hmm. a fiction especially. Mm -hmm. When I read a fiction and see how imaginative people can get, how mm -hmm. wild the thoughts can get, mm -hmm. I'm, wild, I'm just wowed by that. You're just wowed. And uh, it improves your thinking. Yeah. It improves, uh, it gives you different perspectives. Yeah. More perspectives is wisdom, obviously. Yes. And uh, it improves your language, which you need in the world. Terminologies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel that. I feel that. So we collect, we deliver first change to uh, deliver any chap chap. Yeah, just a hashtag. Just We're a changing. hashtag. Uh -huh. Just a hashtag. Uh -huh. Delivery ni take it take it. Delivery ni take it take it. Yes. So that is the hashtag you're moving with. Yes. How can they catch you on social media so they can jump on this hashtag as well? So Your camera is number four. Okay, good. So on our social media, mm -hmm. Facebook, it's Modest Collections. Like our page, interact with us. My personal Facebook page, Lois Kamanu. Message me. Don't be afraid. If you need any advice, if you need to talk, just message me. We are on Instagram, Modest underscore Collections, or Lois underscore Kamanu. And even their Twitter, mm -hmm. we are there. Your personal handle, Kamanu mm -hmm. Lois, and also Modest Collections. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on, Lois, uh, it's about that time that we talk about competition. This is always tense in the boardroom, um, I, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> ever since uh, we met mm. for the first time, you told me about this business. I've seen delivery companies pop up online, uh, left, right, center. Some of them even have billboards in the middle of town and Westlands, yeah. meaning they have some, some money to back them up. Yep. Uh, how, do you, how do you float first? Being in a sea of people with capital uh, yeah. and are trying to do the same business that yeah. you were doing. It's not easy, mm -hmm. especially to convince your clients. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the margin in the prices, mm -hmm. your prices cannot be the same because mm -hmm. the moment that you have a pool mm -hmm. of uh, resources or other riders, mm -hmm. you're able to subsidize the prices uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and that cannot be our scenario mm -hmm. because we note it there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you need to have a difference. Uh -huh. What is going to make a customer choose you uh -huh. as compared to another person who's doing way much better uh -huh. in terms of cash. And bigger. Exactly. So right. the question is, what do we give? What makes you different? Personalized attention. Personalized attention. I'd like you to address that to, yeah. to the viewers. Look them straight <laughs> into the eyes and tell them, what is the difference between uh, yeah. modest what? collections and the, less, the, uh, wow, the rest <laughs> of the delivery people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is different about us? Uh -huh. Number one, we give personalized attention mm -hmm. in that you'll be handled well from A till the time that you're mm -hmm. from done. From the Z. inquiry exactly. to the delivery. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Number two, once your uh, parcel is picked, mm -hmm. it's going to be delivered straight mm -hmm. to your client. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may order right at 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's delivered even at 4 in mm -hmm. the evening. Mm -hmm. At Modest Collections, we don't do that. You don't, I'm um, Chilewi. At Chile delivery because we pick it up. Take it, take it uh -huh. to the client. Take it, take it to the client. Yes. All right. Uh, so, what is collect? That is how you stand out. You yeah. separate yourself. You emancipate yourself from customer experience. Customer experience. Yes. It's all about customer experience. Yes. All right. How have you managed? How, uh, what are some of the things you've learned about the the Kenyan market and that while trying to give them that customer experience? What are mm -hmm. some of the unique things you've learned about uh, the Kenyan market that somebody might pick and take home? Uh, what I've learned to the Kenyan market. Both negative and positive. Uh, let's start with what? Okay, we'll just mix them up. Eh? Uh -huh. So what I've realized the Kenyan market, mm -hmm. especially in my field, mm -hmm. sorry to say, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's more so good for us all, mm -hmm. everybody for themselves. All right. Nobody that's cares about one. the other. No. Kenyans don't care about each other as no. much. And either. that's something that breaks my heart, but uh -huh. that's something I've really noticed. Uh -huh. Number two, uh -huh. um, the market is not as hard to penetrate as people think. Uh -huh. Yeah, as long as you point out a need in the market, uh -huh. it's very easy to penetrate. Uh -huh. uh, people say it's very hard because of capital, uh -huh. but uh, I believe that with whatever you have, you can uh -huh. always start somewhere. Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever you have, you can always start you somewhere. You can always start somewhere. Kenya, it's not very hard to penetrate, no. but Kenyans care about themselves. Yeah, so you need to serve that exactly in the point that uh -huh. let's promote each other uh -huh. as opposed to let me say these apps that are mm -hmm. being developed outside mm -hmm. and coming to control the business mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. we need to promote each other so first. it's that five taxi apps mm -hmm. and one is kenyan i should 
be that person that use the Ken exactly. uses the Kenyan one. Exactly. The delivery companies, I should always find the Kenyan one first before. At least go for that first. Uh -huh. Promote your own people. If I get disappointed, I have the option to go exactly. to another place. Yeah. But always try to support Kenyan products. Just try to support the Kenyan product. If it doesn't work, then wow. I'm good. I see what she did there. How can yeah. they catch you on social media again and how do they get a hold of your services? So to get our services, mm -hmm. you can give us a call. We have a call center mm -hmm. where there's, even right now when you call, there's someone mm -hmm. ready to serve you. Mm -hmm. Our numbers are 0750 mm -hmm. 500 502 mm -hmm. or 0785 003 mm -hmm. 003. All right. Yes. Uh, just uh, bring that Should back say again. That again? <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. So you can always give us a call to mm -hmm. book your ride, which mm -hmm. is done like uh, around 30 to 20 minutes before. You mm -hmm. have to book a ride prior mm -hmm. by calling 0750 mm -hmm. 500 502 mm -hmm. or 0785 003. 003 mm -hmm. or you can even message us in our social media handles there's mm -hmm. always someone ready to serve you there's always somebody ready to serve you at yeah. modest collections yes. uh, for sure all right uh somebody is asking mm -hmm. how far can you deliver what uh, are your limits <laughs> uh we're actually looking to expand on that mm -hmm. i'm getting that question a lot mm -hmm. Uh, by now, we are serving Nairobi in its environments. Mm -hmm. We are looking into moving maybe to Thika, mm -hmm. to places. We get to the river at some point, mm -hmm. but we are looking on how we can tap into that market here. Mm -hmm. And especially Nakuru. Rongai. So, uh, <laughs> Rongai is not so far. <laughs> we get to Rongai actually. Uh -huh. But places like Thika that are quite a distance, mm -hmm. we are actually looking into a long term plan for that. Looking into a long term plan for that. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, the size of parcels that you can deliver as well? Um, the size from very tiny parcels mm -hmm. um, to around, do you know the carrier boxes the yes. that are fitted uh -huh. on uh, the Motor maximum, bikes. yeah, the maximum uh -huh. size, we uh -huh. have the big sizes, so that's the standard size. That is the standard size. Yeah. Uh, but we are looking to get bigger, bigger, yes. bigger parcels yes. in the future as well. Yes. All right, congratulations on your awards. Where do you place them? In your office? Yes. In they're right there. Anybody would like to come take a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> With the words, yeah. can come through. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm guessing you networked with a lot of uh, powerful queens or women at the at the award ceremony. A lot. Uh, who is that one person that really stood out for you and you thank God you went to that event and met that person? Um, actually, I wouldn't pinpoint one person mm -hmm. because it has actually impacted me in a way that I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. I can count for you and even show you evidence that mm -hmm. every single day mm -hmm. I have a new client that is from the women in business mm -hmm. uh, membership or um, it's called a circle mm -hmm. every single day. Mm -hmm. Every single day. I don't want to mention I might get into trouble. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, into uh -huh. mentioning just a specific person, uh -huh. but um, the network there. Mm -hmm. Oh, any woman in business, please join the women join. in if business. If you don't know how to join message me in my social media, I'll uh -huh. show you how to join in. Any woman in business should join this they woman right here. In. This is the future of women in business in this country. It is. And you guys are going to take over the world. All right, so every networking. What I get from you is networking is also very important. Yes. It's a very important aspect mm -hmm. uh, that has got you to where you are from yes. the first time we met to this time. Yeah. All right, uh, your networks, how do you create them? Uh, number one. Mm -hmm going for forums mm -hmm. especially like the women in business mm -hmm. and one thing i've learned during networking mm -hmm. you have to go find the networks yourself mm -hmm. sitting in your office will not help mm -hmm. no you have to go outside there because mm -hmm. especially like i can give an example every mm -hmm. week we have um, these meetings where mm -hmm. we all meet mm -hmm. i can tell you for sure every meeting you meet different women mm -hmm. that's number one mm -hmm. and who will connect you to other forums uh -huh. so it's a chain it's a chain. It's a chain. These forums are very important. They're People very, learn very from important. these forums. Yeah. Uh, it's uh -huh. not a cliche. Uh, the forums are not a cliche. I thought it was a cliche. Uh -huh. I also after. think it's a cliche mm -hmm. now. No. Uh -huh. I don't know about so after there is I a go, <laughs> after I go to the men's conferences, <laughs> I'll understand. That's when you realize uh -huh. that it's very important. Uh -huh. I didn't see the power in it, uh -huh. but right now, I hear of any forum, I'm game. Your game. Yeah. Because that's how you make business right exactly. there. Exactly. All right, wonderful. Thank you very much, Lois Kamano, for coming through to Y in the morning. We appreciate you. This is the second time coming, and I'm looking forward to the third time when you're bigger and the fourth time when you're at the Nairobi <laughs> Stock Exchange. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. All right. Having uh, uh, we'll, we'll wrap this up. Uh, mm. But uh, you seem like a social person. 
Uh, you seem like a people person. What about that person that can that does not know how to how to talk to people or just handle people? What can you tell them about networking? They're good at their business. They're good at good at accounting. They're good at uh, projecting. They're good at making plans. But people skills. So like introverts. Yes. <laughs> What did you tell them? <laughs> uh, for introverts? Oh, you don't have that struggle, so you don't know <laughs> <No>. how to. <laughs> no, actually, I have a circle of introverts. Mm -hmm. So what I've seen especially, mm -hmm. um, it's not good to depend on others, uh -huh. but it's good if you feel like you, you don't have the courage uh -huh. and you need even to go for a forum, uh -huh. call a friend. Call a friend. Call a friend. A wing person. Yeah, go with them. Uh -huh. Oh, they can always call me. Uh, uh -huh. They're ready to go. You're either. ready to go. At a, at a fee, maybe? Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> just free. It's free. But uh, what to your question, huh? mm -hmm. um, this fear gets over with time. Mm -hmm. Just like how you tell me. It's practice. The first time I was here, mm -hmm. I don't feel the same right now. Uh -huh. It gets easier with time. It gets easier with time. But get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. Exactly. Make the first step. Exactly. And then practice. Everything it's going to get slow. easier. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Lois. It's always a good conversation when you come through to Y in the morning. Thank All the you. best in your endeavors. Thank you so much. All right, me. we have the CEO and founder of Modest Collections. I have three uh, bookmarks right here uh, that you can get a hold of. So hit me up uh, on my social media. It's very more. Uh, my first three followers will get, a, will get a taste of this. So we still have another interview uh, coming through with Alex or by Alex. So don't go nowhere, don't take that down. Y in the morning.